And here is right a picture from the same place again, northern Ghana. Here it's a simple dog well, just a hole in the ground, and um, you see from the top it's a little bit uh, different from many other places here. But but basically it's just a um, a hole in the ground. Very easy to construct here. Yeah? You can, in principle, build it outside your house. So it's cleaner than surface water. But if you want to make it really clean, you have somehow to protect it. And this is what we call a protected well, protected dug well. Uh, this, this, the apron, it's called. A yeah. uh, big slab prevents that water would be flowing down uh, along the, the dug well and into the water. Also, because it has a lining here inside the pit, about uh, three meters would be the standard to, to line with, with cement. So no, but no water is flowing into the well the first three meters. You need, of course, in the bottom to water to flow in, uh, but, um, but at least the first three meters, then the water would be seeping down, would be clean somehow, be, be filtered. It has the raised uh, uh, apron here that prevents uh, surface water from running into it. A bit unusual, it has a, a lid also, but that's just an extra feature here. That is an extra way to uh, to protect the water. You can put uh, something on top, for example, a hand pump, a very uh, simple and cheap one in, in this case, and that would be closing the last one, because the the pollution of the, the groundwater, the dock well here, comes actually from the buckets here. When you, if you put the bucket on the, on the ground where somebody has been Shitting or home, if, if you have a, any any pollution, you would take it into the water. It may not be a very big uh, source of uh, pollution, but but it is some some source of pollution. The last pollution you can you can shut by by putting something on top here, like a hand pump. This is very good for the drinking water quality. If you protect it like this, um, there would be no problem with the drinking water quality. And it's often the most appropriate water source if. If you have very poor uh, conditions, poor people, this would be often the preferred solution if you have uh, groundwater uh, in the top. I mean, top groundwater right, right here. That would be the most sustainable because it's also easy to maintain. There's no um, no no parts. It could dry out, out in the end of the dry season. Yeah. Uh, that uh, that depends very much on the hydrogeology on the on the spot here. Yeah. So, so the way you, you you dig it during the dry season, at the end of the dry season, you dig the hole so you can get as as low as you can. I mean, it could be you have bedrock, so you have to stop somewhere. But at least you're digging down to the water and two meters more uh, into the water. That would be the standard of uh, making a, a dock well here. Another thing you can put on top, this is very, very clever thing that was invented in Nicaragua um, some 30, 40 years ago. <clears throat> it's called the rope and washer pump. And you can see this nice little animation here showing how it, how it works. There's a pipe uh, going off here and there's a, we have this uh, mill here with, with a, which has a handle that you turn around. And then there's a rope with some small uh, rubber things on it. Uh, here and there, and then when the rubber things goes off, they sort of drive the water up to here, and then the water runs out. And it's very, very easy. If you try these pumps, it's, it, it feels very, very easy to, to get the water up this way, much more than with a, with a hand pump uh, handle here. And it's very simple, because there's, there's no, I mean, if the rope is broken, breaking, you, you, just, uh, you just tie it up again. Or get a new rope. So it's a very, very simple one. In this uh, example here, is is it's from uh, Cambodia, where it has been exported. This is a very good example of uh, sharing technology between uh, the South countries here. Here it is from the original site from Nicaragua. Um, one uh, typical example here on the ground where he he is getting water, he has totally protected his well here, and he gets the water in his bucket. And here, another one has, has even raised it up to this level here. So you can walk up all the stairs and, and, and drive the water all the way up, so he has uh, water inside here, 
And when you have it in a tank, then you can distribute it to your house or to your garden. And, and uh, this is a very uh, advanced, you could say, way with very simple technology to have water on the fresh weekend. <laughs>